Hi, I'm Stephanie Singer. I'm the manager of, of lectures for Arts and Ideas. Every season we do a number of programs on religion. We also do a number of programs on science. But this season I'm really, really excited because we're looking at the religion versus science debate. Unless you're living under a rock, you know that both science and religion have been under attack from the fundamentalists on either side of the camp. It's in the news, um, it's in the classroom, it's in your churches and it's in your synagogues. And um, it's really coming at your, your, your personal and private uh, belief systems. It's really a serious issue. Uh, Richard Dawkins, on the one hand, he's one of the leading uh, evolutionary biologists. He's also a very important figure um, in the New Atheist movement. Richard Dawkins is going to be speaking about his latest book, which is called The Magic of Reality. And he's interested in, in, in talking about questions like, where do we come from? Why is there night? Why is there day? Why, do, why are there four seasons? Also, why do bad things happen? Um, on the other hand, we have Jonathan Sachs coming. He's, if, in case people are not familiar with what a chief rabbi is, it's, uh, it's a position where uh, it's a figurehead um, for the Jewish community. And for all intents and, and purposes, he's considered the representative for the Jewish community, both with, within the Jewish community and outside of the community. So he's going to talk about his, his latest book, which is called The Great Partnership. And it's a book in which he basically says that, that religion and science absolutely can coexist and has, and they have coexisted for many, many centuries. And in fact, they share something in common, faith. While these two authors are going to be speaking at different times in different months, I highly recommend that if you're interested in this debate, it, and I think that most people are, whether they're people of faith or not, that it's, it would be really um, of interest to come and hear both speakers. I'm going to highlight three of the programs that we're doing in the fall that are related to Israel. The first is a panel that we're doing with um, Alan Dershowitz, Thane Rosenbaum, and Brett Stevens. Alan Dershowitz, as many people know, is a, is a very well-known civil rights attorney and professor at Harvard. Um, and Thane Rosenbaum is at Fordham. And Brett Stevens is a journalist at the Wall Street Journal. And they're going to be talking about the relationship between American Jews and Israel and what we really think. There's a lot of discussion in the, in the media about uh, the relationship between American Jews and Israel and, um, and whether or not that relationship has changed, whether it's weakened. And I think they're going to break that open and unpack that. Okay. So one of my favorite fall programs that's coming up is a program with journalist Mati Friedman on the Aleppo Codex. This is a story about how the Aleppo Codex, it's also called the Crown or the Aleppo Crown, went from Syria to the early uh, state of Israel. And when it got there, it was missing about 250 pages of its most important text. It's kind of a part Da Vinci Code, part Indiana Jones. It reads like a mystery novel, but it's real. And finally, on the heels of the election, we have Aluf Ben, who is the editor-in-chief of Haaretz, who's coming to speak to us about the election and give us a post-election analysis and what he thinks the election results mean to Israel. We're looking forward to meeting you if you've never been to any of our Arts and Ideas programs. If you are regular, we look forward to seeing you. And if you, if you haven't been, please come and introduce yourself and let us know what you think.